Is everything you know about space actually true? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? Space, the final frontier, a realm of infinite possibilities, and yet, also a breeding ground for misconceptions. We've all grown up hearing certain truths about the cosmos, but how many of these are actually, well, true? For instance, many believe that the sun is yellow, or that there are only eight planets in our solar system. Some even think that without a spacesuit humans would explode in the vacuum of space. We've all heard about the immense sucking power of black holes, haven't we? And of course, the popular notion that the Earth's rotation makes our days longer. But are these beliefs grounded in reality? Or are they just cosmic fairy tales we've been told to simplify the complexities of the universe? Well, fasten your seatbelts, folks. Prepare to have your mind blown as we debunk some of the most common space lies. Ever looked up at the sun and seen a yellow ball? Think again. We often perceive the sun as a big, bright yellow object in the sky, but here's the kicker. The sun isn't yellow at all, it's white. Yes, you heard it right, our sun is white. So why does it appear yellow to us? It's all about the Earth's atmosphere. The short and simple explanation is that the sun emits light of all colors. But as the sunlight passes through our atmosphere, it gets scattered by molecules and particles in the air. This process is known as Rayleigh scattering. During this scattering, shorter wavelengths of light like blue and violet get scattered in different directions, leaving behind the longer wavelengths like red, orange and yellow to reach our eyes. However, when the sun is high in the sky, the scattering effect is less, and the sun appears more white than yellow. So next time you look up at the sky, remember, the sun isn't really yellow. Remember learning about the eight planets in our solar system? Well, it's time to unlearn that. We've all grown up with the concept of our solar system housing eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But here comes the plot twist. The definition of a planet is up for debate. You see, back in 2006, Pluto was demoted from a planet to a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union. The reason? It failed to meet all the criteria of their newly established definition of a planet. But if we consider dwarf planets as part of the family, the count goes up from eight, and it doesn't stop there. Beyond Neptune's orbit exists a region known as the Kuiper Belt, home to many celestial bodies that could potentially be classified as planets, including Eris, Haumea, and Makemake. Who knew our solar system could be so much more crowded? Ever heard that the moon landing was a hoax? Let's dive into that. There are numerous conspiracy theories suggesting that the moon landing was a carefully orchestrated deception by NASA. Some claim that the US government staged the landing to win the space race against the Soviet Union. They point to perceived anomalies in the footage, like the fluttering American flag, or the absence of stars in the lunar sky. But let's clear the air here. The flag appeared to flutter due to the way it was planted and the motion caused by the astronauts. As for the missing stars, the lunar land surface and the astronauts' suits were so bright in the sunlight, they overpowered the faint stars. Also, the absence of an atmosphere on the moon prevents the scattering of sunlight, which is why the sky appears black. The moon landing was a monumental step for humankind paving the way for future space exploration. So, despite the conspiracy theories the moon landing was not a hoax but a giant leap for mankind. Black holes. The giant vacuums of the universe, right? Not quite. It's a common misconception that black holes roam the cosmos, sucking up everything in their path. The truth is a bit more nuanced. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull once past a certain point. But they don't act like cosmic vacuums. Objects need to come pretty close to a black hole to be captured. Imagine a black hole as a sinkhole. If you're far enough away, you can observe it without being sucked in. But get too close, and you'll find yourself unable to resist its pull. This is similar to any other celestial body. Earth, for instance, has a gravitational pull that keeps us grounded. It doesn't mean it's sucking everything towards it. Black holes might be mysterious, but they aren't the cosmic vacuums we often picture. Ever thought the Earth's rotation is what gives us 24-hour days? Time to rethink that. It's a common misconception that the Earth spinning on its axis once every 24 hours creates our day-night cycle. But there's more to this story. The Earth's rotation only contributes to a portion of this cycle. Now, imagine a line connecting the Earth and the Sun. As the Earth spins, it also orbits the Sun. After one complete rotation, the Earth hasn't returned to the same position relative to the Sun, it's moved a bit along its orbit. So, it takes a little extra rotation for that line to line up again, 
which adds about 4 minutes to our day. This is why, instead of having a day that's exactly 23.93 hours long, which is the time it takes for one rotation, we have a 24-hour day. So it's not just about spinning on an axis but also about a journey around the sun. Ever heard that the Great Wall of China is visible from space? Time for a reality check. This is one of those myths that has been perpetuated over time, becoming a part of our common knowledge. But astronaut Chris Hadfield who lived on the International Space Station, confirmed that it's simply not true. The reality is, from space you can't distinguish human-made structures like the Great Wall. What you can see are broad patches of city lights during the night, and the green and brown palette of the Earth during the day. Understanding the scale of human-made and natural structures gives us a new perspective on our world. So, while the Great Wall is indeed a remarkable structure, it's not quite visible from space. This goes to show that not everything we hear or read even if it sounds plausible is necessarily true.